Hi, so today I'm going to take a look at another new game from Evolution. It is called Gold Bar Roulette. Now this is another multiplier game um, from Evolution and um, Roulette, but it sort of flips the whole concept of multipliers on its head. It puts control completely in the hands of the player of when they use um, the multipliers and when they can use them. So you can choose the numbers on which the multipliers run and you can decide when to use the multipliers in the first place. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just fire up the game straight away and then I'll get into describing what Gold Bar Roulette is all about. Okay, so here we are. Um, now, as you can see, um, it is a really ornate looking studio. There's a gold vault uh, there containing all of the gold bars. Gold bars are the currency in this game for multipliers. Each gold bar is worth 88x. Um, and the basic premise of the game is you place a straight up bet on the betting grid. If that number drops in, you will win not only the amount of money, um, the payout for the wager that you state, but you'll also win a number of gold bars. Those bars go into your own personal vault and then you can use those gold bars as bets in later game rounds. So, um, and then you can stack those gold bars one on top of each other. So rather than having an 88x payout on a number, you can choose to have two gold bars, which will give you 176, three, and so forth. So really racking up the multipliers for a particular number. So there are loads of different ways that you can play this game and use your gold bars. Uh, you may be wondering, uh, well, what about the value of a gold bar? Well, every time you place a straight up bet and win gold bars with that straight up bet, the value of that straight up bet is assigned to those gold bars that you that you win and they go into your gold bar balance. Now, if you were to place uh, different value bets on the betting grid and win more gold bars, but with a different value, when they go into your gold bar balance it averages out all of the other previous uh, values of the gold bars to give you a figure that all the gold bars in the um, your balance are worth if that makes sense so if you start off just winning some low value uh, bars but you want to increase the value of your balance of the of the bars in your in your balance then you need to start placing bigger bets on the betting grid to win more gold bars with a higher value which will go into the the pot it's self-explanatory but uh, you, you'll see it when it when the game plays out so um, there's a couple of just important things I need to point out about this game gold bars can only be won with straight up bets so there's a really useful setting on uh, the playing interface I shall show you up here in settings and it is called split chips into straight up bets now I've got this ticked at mine so it doesn't matter what type of bet you place on the betting grid it will change it into a straight up bet so if I choose to place a split bet and I'll show you um, on the next uh, betting round you will see that it splits the amount so let's say I choose a state amount of one pound I'm playing in pounds um, it will split the amount into two 50p bets across those two numbers so let's just do that I'll demonstrate that so if I go for a split bet here it will have it as two 50p bets and they are straight up numbers so I shall undo that so I'm going to place um, so that's my total bet, um, one pound. So if I want to bet on every single number, which I'll do on the next uh, game round, I'm gonna choose a higher bet amount because it's gonna take that number and then divide it by 36 and place, or the best it can, and place those bets on the individual number spots. So let me just show you here. There isn't a bet all function. So I'll do it, There's, you can do it in all sorts of ways. Um, so if I just place two, um, I'm gonna place one, let's say two five pound bets. So I'm gonna do um, 
1 to 18 and 19 to 36. So I've got 28, a mixture of 28 and 27 pence on each bet. So I've got a total bet of 10. I've left zero, bit of a risk. Um, and what's going to happen is the presenter will spin the wheel and once betting time is closed it then calculates how many gold bars it's going to give each player so as you can see he opens the vault and we're going to get seven gold bars when we win so i've bet 10 straight up numbers pay 19 to 1 in this game well that was close from the zero wasn't it so i've won five pounds 60 but more importantly I've won seven gold bars which go into my balance here. Now, if you have a look at my balance, which I'll just hover over, it's telling me my balance is 13. And the reason it's 13 is because I've got 17 gold bars in there now, and I had a lot of low value gold bars. Um, so it's made the average now 13p per gold bar. So I can place that gold bar just like a normal betting chip on the betting grid. Um, during any game round. So I can mix money and I can mix gold bars when I place bets or I can just place gold bars or I can choose just to build up a balance until I've got lots and lots of gold bars. Now the thing is you don't have to use these gold bars immediately so you could bank all your gold bars and then come back. You've got 180 days in which to use them and then they'll be then they'll disappear. So plenty of time to use them. So if you don't fancy using them today or within the next few game rounds, um, then that's fine. I'm going to repeat that last bet. There is auto play if you want to just keep playing the same um, same numbers. I'm only doing this for demonstration purposes just to build up some gold bars in my balance. Doesn't look like we're going to get many gold bars in this one, too. <laughs> so sometimes there can be lots of gold bars, other times not so many. Now the game has an RTP of exactly the same as European Roulette of 97.3%. As I said, it's sort of designed to be played as a straight up game, hence you've got that setting in the, um, in the settings. If you were to place bets let's do a five pound bet here and just bet tiers rather than doing splits it just places straight up numbers using the tiers pattern so i've got that sector of the wheel covered and just hope to get um you know a straight up win and some gold bars as part of that so there's a number of ways that you can place your bets um you know, in terms of playing strategies, my suggestion is you play your normal game on this game. Don't try and chase the multipliers. Play your normal game, straight up number bets, whatever your patterns are, be happy with them. Um, I mean, we won there on that tiers bet, so I'm just gonna repeat that as well because I'm building up some, uh, some gold bars and then I'll start start placing a few bets yeah so i would say strategy wise you can cover the board every time you know but i think when you do the math it's very easy to um spend more money accumulating gold bars than you're ever going to win um, and then you've got the problem of using the gold bars now it's a nice problem to have because you get to choose which numbers um to bet on and you get to choose what multiplier you want each number to have. So we'll do a few of those. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my gold bars this time and I'm going to place them as... I was trying to place them as tiers bets. But it's not letting me do that. So I've got another tiers bet going. Not really what I want yeah. intended. So that's a bit disappointing. I would have thought that the playing interface would have allowed me to select the gold bars as a chip type and use 
obviously a way of betting. Let's just try and see if that happens with <coughs> reds. Let's do, no, it doesn't. Okay, so it doesn't. So I've got to manually place my, yeah, I've got to manually place the, um, the gold bars on numbers. So we'll just do um, some random bets just to start using some of these. So it's a real twist gold bar roulette from, so it takes the concept of lightning roulette and multipliers, turns it on its head, puts the multipliers in control of the player, of when you use them and on what numbers you can place them. So let's just go for some over here. I've got quite a few, so I'm going to put some decent number of wins. And we'll do some down here as well. We'll have one on zero just for the hell of it. Okay, my balance is uh, 25. So each one of those bets is worth 25 pence. Now you don't have to use the gold bars like that, you could use one, one or two. You can stack them on a number that you've already got money on. We'll do one of those. So what I'll do is a tiers bet and then I'll just superimpose what we've got in. Oh, there we go, look. So we've got a uh, nice win there of 44 pounds. So that's taken us up. So that showed you, I start, my starting balance was about 100 quid. So I've had a decent win there. And I've not really sort of been concentrating, but it shows you that when it comes in, they come in. So if I do, oh, I'm run out of time on that. I'll do it on the next bet. So I'm happy with that actually, you know, to, <laughs> to have a 40 quid profit on a new game like this is, I'm happy with that. You know, I'm not a huge roulette player, I'm not going to lie. But I really like the fact that I've got control of when I, it, 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 when I can use them, it causes you a bit of a problem too, because you've got to start making the decision. So it really sits with you of how you use these. Right, let's do a tiers bet. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a one pound tiers bet, but I'm going to place some multipliers on top of these numbers, or all of the ones that I had. And we'll just see if we get... But it's not a normal roulette, I mean. So my total bet was one pound. That was for the cash um, bets I played. And if I get a win on a multiplier, I win more guy, more gold bars as well. So any win wins gold bars, whether it's a money chip or whether it's a gold bar chip. There you go. We've got an eighty-eight on our gold chip, and we won three bars. So that's going quite well, isn't it, really? <laughs> so uh, I can't repeat that bet because I've only got three gold bars. So let's just go for another tiers section of the wheel. And you can see how many gold bars get won down the left-hand side and also how many people have won with their gold bars on that game round. So... Uh, It soon mounts up. What I like about it is the fact that you can accumulate gold bars with a low value and then you can place just one or two high value bets to bring the average up and then use that when you're using the gold bars. So I think that's quite quite sexy really. It's quite a nice way of, uh, of playing that. Okay, so that is Gold Bar Roulette from Evolution. It is at all Evolution uh, online casinos. There's a link in the description of the video of where you'll find those. Um, you know, give it a go. Do I like it or not? I don't really know. You know, I've won 70 quid. So it's, <laughs> it's a game that pays if you're just sensible, I suspect there are going to be some monster wins on this because I suspect some players will just keep building and building and building up their gold bar balance and then start having multipliers of thousands and thousands on 
on numbers on the board because you've got 180 days to use it. So you could have, let's say, a week of playing, just accumulating gold bars, and then you could have a monster session where you're just using them all and you know and winning thousands of X of the bet. So that's, uh, you know, I'd love to see that. I'd love to see one of the streamers doing that, I have to say. So um, perhaps if you follow some of the streamers, uh, let me know in the comments if they've if they've done that or not. Anyway, so this is Gold Bar Roulette from Evolution. Uh, my name is Neil. Um, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button because it just helps with the visibility of the video. If you'd like to leave some comments, please do. I will respond to uh, any that are deserving. And let's get into a chat about what you think about this game. So until the next video, which will actually be quite shortly, um, I shall see you then. Cheers. Bye.